Hello everybody and welcome to episode 25 of Top Ships of Starmade. Um, the first ship we have this week is the Blizzard Mark 1 by Marix. That's a pretty, pretty decent ship. It's slightly different to your normal frigate. It is. It is quite different, but it actually looks like it's um, separated in hull parts. Yeah, yeah. Covering. It looks like it's broken into pieces very easily. Yes, that, yeah. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it looks good. Most ships have shields anyway. Yeah, that's true. So it won't really affect too much. It has, I think, two quite large ships here and a huge turret. Big, big gun at the front. Is that a turret turret or is that just a... I think it's a looking like decoration a looking t like yeah. turret. I thought so. That was a bit large. Still looks good, though. It thrust is a bit more... Like, you can't see them as much as you can on some ships. Yeah, well, they have a weak point, so you don't really want them seeable. No, that's true. And side is pretty mm, normal. Pretty normal. It's blue ice along with blue. I like that strip um, effect it's got going on there. It breaks it up so it doesn't look all one color. Yeah. Plain, bland, so on. Yep. It's a good idea. It's understandable. And it's not a solid line either. No. It's quite nice having ice. And this is like the outside. Yeah. On the main deck. Now that uh, big thing back there is actually a turret. Oh, right. Yeah. It's quite large. And conference room. This is a very big conference table. That would be a nightmare of a meeting to be in. Yes. That's why we also have storage containers so we can store the lunch in there. Yes. That's a great idea. And is this a hangar bay? Because there were like uh, there were docking stations on the ground. Yeah. That was cool. That place yes. door that covers it. That was a cool idea. Very good idea of actually having just one block go out. Mm. It looks very nice. It's like it's a key or a button to push. Yes, exactly like a button actually. And it's I quite like how the blue sort of wings cover. Yeah, it's, it's like it, it seems to be one that if it lands on a planet it would actually be quite useful still. Like the top of the deck was very flat. And, and this. Something. What the heck? I found invisible areas. Water. Ah, it right. causes uh, invisibility. Ah. Nice little side effect. That's bizarre. <laughs> so, a good little trick while it lasts. The Ish Ishimura? Ishimura. Ishimura by Tank 11 Kamikaze. It's from Dead Space. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, true. Did it's that? number one, I think. I haven't played them for a long is time. Very familiar. Um, I haven't seen a ship quite this grey in a while. Yes, but it also has different colours. And it's, the original. It's got a bit of detailing, yeah. Yes, and also the original ship was. Right, if I remember quickly. So it's it's a model that's done right. Yep. Very much, yes. Mm -hmm. Those wings are really cool. Yeah, uh, quite nice having the sort of strats going through them. Yep. Yeah. It adds just a little bit extra effect. I quite like the wings. Mm, and the nice. strats to the outer shield pads, wing yep. pads. It's quite square though, in quite a lot of places, like flat and square and plain. But and cool. inside, it's actually quite nice. This is bizarre core room. <laughs> yes, the uh, inside of the ship was slightly that way as well in the game. Oh, yeah, with so. Dead Space, you want a bizarre ship because there's stuff that jumps out of you every few feet. Yes, it's not modelled after the inside. That'd be way too hard for anyone, but it does look. Fitting, yeah, for style. So he's done a very good job. Almost looks like something out of Star Wars with these walkways. I I'm imagining that. Does yes. Wide walkways with big drops. It looks very grand. Yeah. And just random rooms and storage and lockers. Yeah. And this is from one end of the ship to the very end. Oh, okay. right, so there's a central corridor. Yep. That's goes a great idea. Oh, why? So nice. Very good idea. 
and it's also got um, side rooms where a ship can come I in like, and I like dock. the lighting on that ceiling with the ice. Yes, it that was the part I liked most. Yeah, I have to say that that would be my favorite part of this. It's a most unique sort of style. Yeah. Lighting. Yeah. The FTS Industries by Blarg. That um, looks more like a space station. It is. Than a ship. It is a space station. Yes. Uh, it's meant to be, I think, a planet destroyer. Right. Well, it's... I can imagine looking at it. Yeah, that looks like it could be some... It basically looks like it's just a big cannon. <laughs> it does. It oh. looks so awesome, though. Mm, very good. I like so the much like, detail. electricity effect he used the um, ice for there. Yes. And also, he's done even lines on the barrel. Yeah. We'll call it barrel. Yeah, yeah, we'll call it gun. It's pretty yeah. much a gun. It's also got strats... The normal sort of things. Mm-hmm. But quite nicely detailed. Yeah, very good. Some people just uh, put grey um, strut or something, but he's gone full out and done detail everywhere. It's a little bit to make the, the biggest difference. Because when you actually look at it, there's not anywhere that's not detailed. Yeah. It's really nice in that aspect. Yeah. yeah. And this is just down on the sides of the ship? Yep, this is uh, just from the outside ring to the inside. Right, so it's quite a large... About only half mm-hmm. of her width, so... It actually has um, rooms. I think it's enough right. for three crew members, or four? So, it seems, yeah, it didn't, there wouldn't be a lot of room on the inside. It does seem very cramped in inside. There's more inside than what it looks like there would be. Oh, flip, yeah, there's a bit of inside. And he hasn't uh, spared any detail on inside That's either. That's cool. That is very cool. It's definitely like a weapon of mass destruction. Done right. Mm. Done very right. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.